Hello YouTube, and I've got here a GU10 bulb that failed in my kitchen light and it doesn't light and I can show you what it looks like when it's not lit. There you go, you've seen what it looks like when it's not lit. Um, so, if I have a look at it, I'm thinking can I repair this? Because if you look here, you can see one of these LEDs got a little black blob on it. So I reckon that LED's failed and how these tend to work is you have a high potential across all these LEDs and they're all in series. So if one LED goes open circuit, the whole lot will go off. But because these tend to have a current limited supply on them, you should be able to short out one LED and the rest should light. So that's my plan. So whether or not we can actually get into this. This is a metal construction and glass on top. So what I'm wondering is if I can use a bit of heat around here, soften the glue up, sort of prise this glass out and get it open without breaking anything too much. We can give it a try, can't we? Oops, well that didn't go particularly well. So I've had a little bit of a nibble along here with some cutters. So I can get underneath the glass. I'll try to prise it up with some heat and this screwdriver and I've cracked it. So it won't be a perfect repair, but at least we can attempt to see if we can get it working again. As now this is inevitable, this is gonna shatter at some point. I've decided to put some tape on it to uh, at least hold the bits in and stop the blood going everywhere. Actually, that wasn't too bad. It's come off in two bits, so I've cracked it, but it is all off. So I might be able to just glue that back on. And there's the uh, LEDs. Now it has released a bit of a smell, which is interesting, but we can see our, can we see it? Come on. We can see our bad LED, which is that one there. You should be able to see the two black dots on it. So that's the one I suspect is bad. So if I get a meter, I might be able to buzz it out. Maybe. So with a meter on diode test, you can see that LED lights up. This LED, come on, it does light up when I poke it hard enough. There you go, it's lit up. There you go, you saw it, you saw it, it's there, yay. This one, no matter how hard I'll poke it, will never light up. So, what we can do is we can get a wire link across this LED. So we could take this LED out, but I suspect it'd be quite difficult because this is a aluminium substrate PCB to take the heat away. But we could just feed a wire link from this side to this side and bridge out the LED. Then this light should lamp. This light should lamp. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with it, why not? And there's the really dodgy repair. So you can see there's a wire link now fitted across the LED. So the wire link is there, goes around from the anode to the cathode or the LED to basically bridge it out. And the rest should now light. Obviously that one LED will be dead, but it should be usable for a little bit longer. So I don't need to say twice, do not connect things to mains using two alligator clips and some pieces of wire. But you know, I'm, uh, it moved. I'm an idiot. So uh, let's turn it on and see if it goes horribly wrong. Hey, it lights up. As you can see, we've got one LED out, but we have got light. Now, before I kill myself, I'm gonna turn the power off and unplug it. <laughs> so that works. So all we've got to do now is glue the glass on and we have another bulb repaired. So once I glue the glass back in, that'd be fully repaired. Now, people don't like LEDs because they don't live up to their 10 year, 15 year, infinite lifetime guarantee, but you cannot repair a filament bulb. So in a way, they have at some level of repairability. And the reason that these fail is because in the old days used to have really big heat sinks. They got away with the heat sinks and these run really hot and that's basically cooks LEDs. So I don't expect this to last much longer because the other LEDs around it would have been cooked. But we can get a few year or two out of it. But yeah, keep posted. And thank you for that video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.